The Vila receives a bigger battery for the PHEV version and a new exterior design. The Range Rover Vila was launched in 2017 to squeeze in between Range Rover's smallest model, the Evoque, and the larger Range Rover Sport as a dynamic, style-led option. 2023 sees the Vila gain a thorough midlife update, bringing changes to the exterior, interior and even the powertrain. Available to order now. The new 2023 Vila continues as Range Rover's rival to the BMW X6, Porsche Macan and Alfa Romeo Stevio. The Jerry McGovern-designed Vila also retains its Jaguar F-Pace underpinnings, which are mostly constructed of aluminium. Although this D7 platform is also used by the Jaguar I-Pace, there's no fully electric version of the Vila. Those waiting for a Range Rover EV will have to hold on until 2025, when that car is due to be launched alongside an all-electric Land Rover Defender. The 2023 Vila gains a fresh grille design, a new LED headlight signature, on certain models, and at the rear there's a revised bumper, but overall it's a minor exterior tweak over the outgoing car. Inside you'll find Range Rover's next-generation Pivi Pro infotainment, with a single curved screen replacing the old dual-screen setup. Controls for the climate, seating and radio are constantly available at the side of the central screen with sliding functions. Shortcuts for frequently used features like media, navigation, camera and window demisters are also permanently visible. Pivi Pro has wireless Apple CarPlay and Android Auto as standard, plus smartphone wireless charging can be found in the center console. Over-the-air updates for 80% of the Vila's digital features will be possible with the latest infotainment system. Range Rover says the Vila is the quietest in its class, thanks to noise cancellation technology. Starting from 54,045 pounds, the Range Rover Vila can be had in entry-level s guys with the cheapest powertrain option, a mild hybrid 201BHP 2.0-liter diesel. Dynamic SE starts from 58,450 pounds, Dynamics HSE at 64,045 pounds and range topping autobiography from 76,415 pounds. The D200 diesel engine now comes with mild hybrid power courtesy of a 48 volts motor. This means the D200 has CO2 emissions of 168 grams per kilometer and fuel consumption of up to 44.1 mpg. Step up to the D300 and you'll find a mild hybrid 3.0-liter straight-six diesel engine with 296 horsepower and 650 newton-meters of torque. This allows for 0 to 60 miles per hour time of 6.1 seconds and a CO2 emissions figure of 188 grams per kilometer and fuel consumption of 39.2 mpg. Petrol models start with the 2.0-liter four-cylinder, also with mild hybrid technology providing 247 bhp and 365 newton meters of torque for a 0 to 60 miles per hour sprint of 7.1 seconds. The larger 3.0 liter straight 6 petrol is only available in dynamic HSE and autobiography trim and comes with 395 bhp and 550 newton meters of torque for a 5.2 second 0 to 60 miles per hour time. The P400 CO2 emissions drop from 227 grams per kilometer to 211 grams per kilometer thanks to the hybridization. The P400E combines a 105 kilowatts electric motor with a 2.0 liter four-cylinder petrol for 398 bhp and 640 newton meters of torque. The battery has grown in size to 19.2 kilowatts, resulting in a longer electric-only range of 33 miles. The battery can also be recharged from 0 to 80% in 30 minutes thanks to 50 kW charging capacity. All six-cylinder versions of the Vila and the plug-in hybrid P400e get adaptive dynamics as standard. This is essentially a system that continuously varies the damping forces at each wheel thanks to electronic air suspension. The new Pivi Pro system features Range Rover's usual extensive driving mode choices of Eco, Comfort, grass gravel snow mud sand dynamic and automatic that's a wrap for today's video what are your thoughts on our list let us know in the comments section below and make sure to like and subscribe to our youtube channel for more future videos